Hey everybody, welcome back Tech of Tomorrow, Elric Ferris here. Now today, we're gonna bring you guys something special from the people over at Amazon. This is their new Kindle Fire HD. It's coming to market at about $200. It's got lots of new features, including a very high resolution screen, has really new speakers, supposed to connect to the internet, just faster, better. For those people who are out there who have Amazon Prime and use their Amazon Kindle, this is gonna be a really cool update for you folks. With that said, Let's jump in, let's do the unboxing, and then talk about some of the features of Kindle's latest product. All right, folks, so here we have it, the Kindle Fire HD. You can see it showing some of their apps in the front right there. Seven inch display, this is a 16 gigabyte model. Show you guys the front, show you guys the back. HD color touchscreen. High definition, 1280 by 800 with custom Dolby Audio. Now the speakers that are inside this are really custom made. There's gonna be two little small speakers that are actually supposed to sound really super good. One of the other major features is this built-in Wi-Fi and HDMI out, which means the Wi-Fi in this, believe it or not, is supposed to actually be better than an iPad. That's what everybody's rumored to say. And with HDMI, it means you can take this unit and hook it directly to a TV. So let's go ahead and start pulling it out. Just the back there, the shipping information. Let me get something here to open this up with. So I got a little thing right here. I'll go ahead and use this to break the seal. Pretty simply done here. I think this is my, my eyeglass repair kit thing, but hey, it worked, right? Whatever works in the heat of the moment. So let's see, I guess there's actually more than that. I'm going to break a tab. So I'm gonna take this up here so you guys can hear it. This is the camera, I'm gonna see you guys can actually hear the tab ripping sound. live it's not memorex so all right got to rip that tab off or then we'll go ahead pop the top you can see up here in this front thing right here we have a little kindle thing it's saying pull me out so we will go ahead and we shall pull this out this is the getting to know your kindle it's showing you where the power button up volume up and down where your headphone is where usb charging and the hdmi now the hdmi on this is a micro hdmi so it's going to be a little bit something different so let's start out right here. We have a little thing right here, a little paper. This is the USB charger. So this part's going to go into the Kindle. This part's going to be in your USB. There's no big blocky thing here, so you're not gonna have to use it. You can plug it directly in your computer or whatever. A lot of the new motherboards actually support that kind of thing. Then we've got the unit itself. It comes completely sealed in a package. Now, some of the things that are different between this, I know you guys are gonna ask, like what is in between this and the Nexus 7. Well, this uses what's called a skinned OS. It's not the exact same Jelly Bean OS that the other one had. So it looks like it's already come charged up. Tuesday, September 18th, 7.49 has the date we're doing the video. Unlock it. Right from the front, welcome to the Kindle Fire. You can see mymotherboards.org right up here. I'm not going to give you guys my password, but all I basically do is I enter my password here for that, and then we'll be up in the internet. So I'm going to step away from the camera for a second. All right, now it's asking me for the time. I've already logged in, so I'm on Pacific Time Zone. I'm going to go ahead and hit that, hit continue. So I'm deregistering my Kindle. I guess from my friend who actually bought this for me, it was registered to his name. So now it's asking me this, so we'll show you some of the stuff. So right off the bat, when you go in, it's gonna ask you to register your Kindle. You'll fill all this stuff out. You guys can see the screen is very clear. I'm gonna go ahead and just bop out of this. So right off the bat, when we see we take the cover off, you can see that it says get started with your Kindle Fire HD. Now there are a lot of different things you can do with this. It's going to ask you to register. It's also gonna ask you to log in to your network if you have one. You just basically follow all the steps through it. You can use all kinds of different devices. You can stream movies, prime instant videos. Now, here are gonna be some of the things that are gonna be different about this. If you're somebody who reads a lot of books, you do Amazon Kindle, you watch a lot of the Amazon Prime instant videos, then this is going to be better than the Nexus 7. If you use none of those features whatsoever, the Nexus 7, actually the OS on it is actually a stronger OS. But this one for the people who use Kindle and all that kind of stuff, well, it's gonna be a very good thing. You got all kinds of apps. 
They've got a store. You can log into the store. I guess you have to register the Kindle first, but basically this is that register page. So here's where you're gonna register your Kindle. You just go in and fill this information out, register it, and then everything's yours. Now, on the side of the unit, there are two connections right here. I'm gonna to try to move these up to the camera so we can see them. One of these is connector. One of these is the HDMI. So you can take that micro HDMI cable, plug it directly in your TV. And the big question I have though, is what's the resolution on my TV going to be? Because they don't actually say that in any of the specs. So one of the things I'm actually wondering about is, will this actually provide me with like 1920 by 1080 resolution on my TV or will it remain the same? That's gonna be one of my biggest questions. Uh, rest of the stuff over here, some of the controls are right here on top. Right here, you can see we have a headphone jack. We have the controls for your volume and all that and your on and off switch right here, all conveniently located. The unit's very, very thin. It's very, very light. You guys can see on the back side, it says Amazon Kindle. Some of the other really cool things about this thing is it has exclusive Dolby Audio with dual driver stereo speakers for immersive virtual surround sound. It's the world's first tablet with dual band, dual antenna Wi-Fi for 40% faster downloads and streaming compared to the iPad 3. It's got a high performance 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor with imagination powered VR 3D graphics score for fast and fluid performance. So that's the stuff that's gonna really help you with all your apps and stuff. So there you go, folks. I mean, it's the new Kindle HD Fire. The big things about it are really going to be its new processor, it's faster, it does the internet better, it's gonna stream movies better, can connect to your TV. Uh, there's just all kinds of things about it. Coming in at $199, it's really set to compete with the other products out there like the Nexus 7. The choice with this being between that and that is the applications that you use. For me personally, I think this is gonna work out for me just perfect. I read Kindle books every day. I have the Amazon Prime account. I stream the movies I watch in my living room. So this will be a really cool device that I can pass around to my family. Everybody can use it and have fun with it. So for $199, I think it's gonna be a really great product. We're gonna bring you more videos where we actually use the thing more and we connect it to our TV and see how it does. So thanks for watching. We'll see you back here on Tech of Tomorrow.